Hey everyone, this is Dan Reeser from the Karura team. Um, I'm going to be walking you through how to get started um, on Karura. What you see here is the Karura website. This is um, akala.network slash Karura. Um, akala is kind of the sister project of Karura, which is being built for Polkadot, whereas Karura is built on a multi-chain network called Kusama. Um, if you want to, you can browse the website to learn more about what Karura is. Um, as of today, this is August 6th, 2021, um, the two products that are live on Karura are the Karura Swap, uh, which is the decentralized exchange, as well as the liquidity providing for this, and then the KUSD, uh, the Karura Dollar Stablecoin. The third product, Liquid KSM Staking, as of today is not live yet, but will be soon. So I'm gonna walk you through how to get started um, from scratch, and this is assuming you don't yet have the wallet extension that you need in order to interact with the Karura applications. So the wallet extension for the um, Polkadot and Kusama ecosystem, this is the equivalent to MetaMask that you might have used on Ethereum. So when you come to uh, apps.karura.network, which is where the DeFi apps are, you'll get this message if you don't have Polkadot.js up here um, installed. So let's click here. And so you've got Two, two links here, um, download Polkadot.js extension, and then this is a guide and a kind of wiki for you if you need help throughout the process. I'm gonna open both of these. So this is the Polkadot.js website. Just so you know, there is more to this website than just the extension site, but there's unfortunately no back button or no home button. So to see the rest of the Polkadot.js site, you'll need to just do this. And the key um, page that you want to um, potentially take a look at is the apps page. And I'll show that after this. But I'm going to go back to the extension. Uh, I'm using Chrome. So I'm going to go ahead and download this. So what you want to do is pin this to your extension or to your um, browser and you should be good to go. Um, take a look at the other guide if you want to learn more about how Polkadot.js works. Um, I'll go through setting up a, a wallet in a second, but there's a helpful video here that Brett on our team made explaining how addresses work on um, Kusama and Polkadot um, for that matter, but it's much different than MetaMask, so it may, it may be helpful to just take three minutes and watch that video. So. This guide will show you what I'm about to do. We just did step one. Now we're going to create our account. So let's go here, understood, and click here to begin. So this is your um, seed phrase, so the 12-word mnemonic seed, fra seed phrase. So as you've probably done with other um, wallets like this before, be very careful to write this down. Don't share it with anyone. Don't um, try not to put it anywhere on the internet. So I'm going to save this and then go ahead. I'm going to name my account. You can name it whatever you want. That's something that only you will see. And then I'm going to create a password. Okay. And I'm finished. So these are all those steps that I just did are explained here. And you're finished installing your wallet. So now let's go back to the Karura website. And now that we have Polkadot.js here, we've got Karura Demo. This is the, the account. Uh, I'm going to go here and click Try Again. So there we go. So now this pop-up comes, um, whenever it asks you to update the metadata, it's, there's not even a, a transaction fee or anything like that. Just click update and it's easy. And I'm in. So these are my account balances. Um, this will continue to grow as more and more tokens are listed here. Um, so you should be all set up now to, to begin using Karua. Um, in the next video, we'll start walking through other um, parts of the application, including minting KUSD, the stablecoin, 
Um, swapping in the decks and liquidity providing. We'll explain what bootstrapping is for any new pairs. Um, and then we'll continue going through these other products as time goes on. So one thing I mentioned I would come back to is the um, polkadot.js.org website. So the extension is what you have already hopefully installed um, into your browser. There's one other aspect that we should, should cover and this is the slash apps part of this website. So this is where you can actually check balances and do other things um, on different networks including Karura, Akala, as well as Polkadot, Kusama, and others. Um, those things include doing things like staking, participating in governance, voting on, on either referenda or voting on council members if you're voting on people to kind of represent you in a decentralized governance arena. Um, besides that, um, there's a couple, I'll just show you kind of the main um, places to keep your eye on because there's a lot here. Um, I wouldn't, if you're not a developer, I would just all straight up avoid um, everything in this tab. It's, it's all just really complicated technical stuff. Um, governance, democracy is where you would go to vote on anything. Let's switch over to Karura and uh, take a look. So in Karura here, this is where any referenda that we're voting on for network upgrades would go. Um, you can take a look at council. This is just getting started. Um, the treasury, eventually everything will kind of come through here. You can see there's already 593 KAR um, built up in the treasury. Um, one of the main pages that you'll want to use if you do want to use this to check your balances is um, the accounts tab. So. This is where it'll show your amount of KAR. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that this account will actually work on any network that's on Polkadot.js here. So any of these parachains, Kusama, even Polkadot will work with this same account. That's um, definitely was confusing to me when I was first learning about this and, I'm, and I think it's confusing to everyone. Um, Brad on our team made a great video tutorial on how Polkadot and Kusama addresses work where there's kind of this parent uh, public key and then this is these are all kind of like sub accounts but they all work with the same address so um, your Karura address your Kusama address and your Polkadot address could all be sharing the same account so you can see that actually here let me show you I'll just copy this by clicking this and paste it here to show you so QMC is the beginning of my Karura address then when I switch to Kusama You can see Karura Demo, it's same name, same wallet, but it's showing me my KSM balance now because I'm on the Kusama um, relay chain or the Kusama blockchain. And to, to show you, this is my Kusama version of the Karura Demo wallet, so EDFH. So same thing as Brett was explaining here. Kusama addresses will start with a capital letter. Polkadot addresses will usually start with a one doesn't really matter, but just, just to explain to you that um, these addresses, you can share the same wallet and use them across different um, networks, which is pretty cool. Keep in mind also that what I just showed you on Polkadot.js to check your accounts is a much more technical way of doing that, and that site was mostly built for developers. The Karura app site at apps.karura.network, this, if you click here, this is your portfolio page. It shows you your balance. This can be hidden, of course, if you wanted to an airport or something, and then um, your assets are all down here. So all your assets are all shown in one place, whereas on Polkadot.js I showed you, you kind of have to click around. So this is actually a much easier place to kind of make your, your routine or your habit place to go as your home base for checking your account balances. So hopefully this helped. Um, let us know if you have any questions. The best place to go is um, going to the homepage here on the wiki. The best places to, to find us are mostly, if you need support, go to our Discord. Um, this will be where you can ask questions and there'll be a lot of people there who can help you. And then of course, following us on social just to get to keep updated on um, the career launch and um, anything else that may be relevant to you. So thank you.